So here we are in HMV for another Blu-ray hunting trip. There are some sales on here, there are some new releases as well, so lots to talk about. And straight away I saw The Iron Claw, which was one of my favourite films that I saw from last year. Highly recommended. It's a real shame it didn't get a 4K release, it just got this Blu-ray. Then here we've got Wonka. I haven't seen this yet, but I know it's got a 4K as well. The Holdovers great film another of my favorites from last year here's priscilla this is the Mubi blu-ray but i know there is a 4k as well which may or may not feature later in this very video moving on there's this film the promised land which i haven't watched yet but i have just got it in so i'm very excited because i love mads mickelson and it's meant to be a great film Here's Poor Things, absolutely loved this film. Again, another one that's a shame it didn't get a 4K. And for some reason they put ratings logos on every single face of this damn slip cover. Moving on, some more new releases. This is Mansion of the Doomed from 101 Films, part of the Black Label series. This film I watched just the other day, it's great. A riff on Eyes Without a Face, a guy that kidnaps these people in order to take their faces, basically. There's some 88 films releases here as well. We've got The Beast in the Cellar and Evolution, a film I remember seeing when it first came out. Then there's this one, Doberman. I don't know much about this, but the packaging sure intrigues me. And then from 88 films, The Inspector Wears Skirts films. I've only seen the first two. I want to get the other sequels. Then we've got Anatomy of a Fall, a film I love, and some new Indicator genre land 4Ks. The Crow, and then Mubi's Fallen Leaves. Moving over here, there's some more 88 Films 4Ks. These are the Tygon Film series, so it includes Witchfinder General and The Blood on Satan's Claw. I haven't managed to get either of these yet, but I've heard great things, so hopefully these will both be in my future in some way. I just love the artwork on them as well, just really good stuff. Then moving over to the 4K section itself, I'm going to have a quick look to see if anything jumps out. I think I've checked out most of the interesting stuff in the new release section, so I couldn't really see too much here. Although here's Priscilla, this is the 4K version like I mentioned. It's the HMV exclusive, uh, I forget what they're called, the first edition. So I don't actually have any of these first edition things. But it's great to see them working with some different labels. And uh, I think you get some kind of booklet and art cards included. This one, I, I keep meaning to get this one from the heart. This is the film that bankrupted Francis Ford Coppola that he made after Apocalypse Now. It's apparently looking stunning on the 4K, so I need to get it soon. Then we move over to the Criterion Collection section. Of course, this is one of my favourites. And HMV still has this promotion going on where there are various different prices across all these it doesn't make too much sense to me as to why one thing is 19.99 and another is 13.99 but you can get great films like pale flower which if you like noirish movies if you like gangster movies this is so stylish like one of the most stylish japanese films i've ever seen and i love it this is another one i keep meaning to get the funeral because I really love Tampopo, and uh, yeah, I've just not managed to pick this up yet. Summertime is one of my favourite films. Absolutely love it. It's a David Lean film, but it's not like his grand epics. This is an intimate snapshot of a relationship, all set on location in Venice, and it looks beautiful. There's also The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, the Terry Gilliam film, although not the 4K. I got the 4K from the US, uh, this is the Blu-ray only, unfortunately. Then next to the Criterion section, there is this Mubi, two for £15, which is a pretty good deal, actually. All of them come with slip covers, and uh, there's a, a wide range now of films in the Mubi line. Like, Under the Silver Lake is absolutely one of my favourite films from the last ten years. Also, Decision to Leave, Park Chan-wook's film. Very Hitchcockian, there's lots of vertigo and rear window in there. It does have a 4K though, so I would get the 4K over this Blu-ray. The Worst Person in the World is an incredible film, absolutely love it. I don't have this release because I've got the 
Region A Criterion Blu-ray. Then there's After Sun, which is a film that sent me into a deep depression. This film did not make me feel good, but I completely recognise why people are loving it. I didn't quite get the sense of catharsis from it, it just made me feel very sad. But maybe that is the sign of a powerful film. Speaking of powerful and weird, there's Annette, the Leos Carax movie, which is really just kind of indescribable. And then Baccarat from Kleber Mendon Sofio. This is an incredible film as well. Honestly, there are so many in this movie line that if you're into world cinema, you could really discover some films that really deserve more attention than they're getting. Like First Cow from Kelly Reichardt, which is another one I just think is amazing. Then moving deeper down into the shop in HMV, we have this promotion on 101 films or 101 films. I don't know which way you'd prefer to say it. That doesn't matter though, because these are also in the two for 15 pounds, which you can mix and match with those movie titles or anything else that is in the promotion. There's some good stuff here. A lot of stuff that intrigues me. Most notably these Agfa titles, which I'm just so drawn to because of the artwork and the slip covers. I haven't actually seen any of these Agfa titles, but from what I gather, these are sort of low budget, run and gun, guerrilla filmmaking that have been sort of reappraised and gathered and uh, put on Blu-ray. And many of these say that these films were made on older technology or subpar technology. So bear that in mind when you get these because they're not gonna look, you know, crystal clear. But I just love the artwork on these. So yeah, I'm not too sure which ones I'm going to get yet, but there's a lot of choice. And I could definitely see this being sort of a new obsession where I feel like I need to go and collect them all. Because I mean, just look at the artwork. They just look so interesting. So that was my shopping trip in HMV. But what did I pick up? Well, just two things this week. Obviously that 101 Films promotion was going on. So I had to pick up some of these. I'd been wanting to get some of these for a long time and just hadn't yet. So I got two of the Agfa titles. I got the Sword and the Claw, which I know very little about. I purely picked it up because of this artwork, but I'm excited to delve into this, see what it's like. And then one that I had heard a lot about is this one, the Wakaliwood Super Action Volume 1 films. These have very high ratings on Letterboxd, so I'm excited to check out both of these very soon and fingers crossed I can get my hands on more of these in the near future. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do let me know and I'll make more of these. In the meantime, keep watching great films and I'll see you very soon.